YouTube. Ha. Huh. Well, the topic of this message is, you know, it's very important about, you know, what's going to happen very soon, you know, about the trial and testing of either our faith or our fear. And, you know, the thing is, what you got to understand about this ideal is, um, it's what you put inside you or don't put inside you is what will be tested, you know. I mean, you know, uh, are you going to become faithful or are you going to be fearful? And I'm not talking about the fearfully, wonderfully made uh, kind of fearfulness, but I'm talking about the fear that, you know, you in darkness, you're not sure of what you should go after. You're afraid to go after things that are unknown to you that produces a positive result. Uh, you're afraid to try things, you know, of the light, but you have been so used to darkness that you don't want to participate in the light things of God that Jesus Christ died for us to give unto us, that we will be pure, give us his pure blood to purify us and to not stay polluted in the sin sick condition of this world that we are in. And the thing is, the topic of the message want to uh, give you uh, it's called the reality of, you know, uh, being being purified versus polluted. Wait, wait, hold on, sorry. Being the value, there you go, that's what I'm looking for. The value of purified, being purified, and the value of being polluted. You know what I'm saying? Now, unfortunately, this world of darkness have through their multimedia, social uh, media, has shown you a way of the benefits of darkness and engaging in activities that will lead you to become polluted concerning what you put inside yourself and what people you let inside you yes uh yeah i'm kind of like you know that sex thing yeah um the thing is you know how loosely you seek after many um and do not care of what condition that you are putting your body in and not realizing what it's doing to you and it's a sad situation that the God of this world has blinded the minds of men to make them believe that darkness is, you know, uh, a right way of living that, you know, a lot of people suffer from, you know, suffer from. They think they, you call it not suffer, they call it like, Oh, you know, just the everyday life, everyday thing to them, you know. They, but they're suffering. They're just hiding the hurt, you know. They're suffering in their polluted position. And but for the sake of an agenda to, you know, uh, feel something, to feel like you have something, you know feel like you really got something you know that's what of course the world will sell to you that when you got like ladies you know what I mean well men when you got all these fine sexy good looking females you got something you got somebody you know what I'm saying you you got some bodies or more likely I must get plural you got some bodies and the thing is you know and when you you know engage in all that you know 
uh, uh, fooling around, you feel like somebody because some bodies are giving you attention. And yes, it seems. See, that's the idea of, you know, deception as what Eve. It's Eve saw the tree and it seems like it was good. And that's what the idea that it, they will give you more reasons through, of course, their television and radio and whatever communication media to make you see that this act seems more pleasurable than anything you ever experienced in your life. They will sell that to you and, and, and when you put yourself out there, people will see you as a value for what really about lust, what they can take advantage to get out of you. That people don't really care anymore uh, concerning that operate in that lifestyle they do not care about you they just want to take what they can get out of you and going on to the next person that's how it really works so what kind of value is that I mean you just can take something and use it and throw it away what is that kind of value and you go to the next one I mean that's what you do with food I mean you you eat the food you know, like you eat a chicken, you you eat the you eat the chicken, eat it off the bone and throw the bones away, and go on and and if you like chicken, you're gonna go to the next chicken, you know, and that's what thing about I don't like how you know people women call themselves chicks. I don't like that idea because you've seen yourself as a chicken that a man can you know you know eat you and throw away the bones and go to the next one that's not a good valuable view of yourself you know what I'm saying the thing is you got to be careful of how you put yourself out there concerning the price tag of your heart see you know I was you know uh, I was looking at Facebook and I saw a you know woman and and she was, wow, the bomb, they call it, you know. Um, the thing is, what God taught me about the bomb, you know, people say, oh, I'm the bomb. One thing about a bomb that you got to see is that it will explode, you know, just like that. But guess what? That's it. That's it. It will blow up. It will make an impact. But that's it. You know, it can't a bomb can't come back together and you know blow up again. Yeah. But the thing is, look, and you know, I see that, and the thing is, I just want to ask you a question. That's all I can do. I can't tell you, oh, don't go after that girl or no more. No, that's not me. I want you to see something. I want you to realize something of value of, you know, what you're getting. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, like, you know, if you, if I, you know, say, hey, you want something to drink? And it's like, they're like, you know, yeah, I want something to drink. And I'm like, okay, I give you some lemonade. So, yeah, lemonade. But then I'm like, say, oh, hold on. Let me put some poison, let me put some this cyanide, let me put this in there, let me put this in there. And I was like, okay, here, there you go. Here's your, and I put it in, I put the cyanide and poison in right in front of your face. And I say, hey, give it a shot. And it's like, you looking at me like, uh, no, I'm not gonna drink this. No way I'm not gonna drink this. This thing can, what's that word? kill me if I try to drink this you know it can more likely it has the possibility of killing me or more likely losing my life you know uh, that, that I will uh, die but the thing is that's what pollution is 
It is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't, you know? And then the thing is, people, of course, the world system has infected y'all with a mindset in your carnal mind to think that, guess what? There's pleasure in pollution. Whoa. And because as Jesus talked about the broad gate, many shall go here and as many shall be polluted, you know? And the few will try to strive to remain pure. But is this a true value in reality? Is it a true value in reality? In your fantasy, in your flesh, it's going to be the billion dollars. In your flesh, it's going to be a billion dollars. But inside your soul, inside your, 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 your heart, inside your soul, inside your mind, will it be a value? Will it, will it, will you value, will it be a value if these things start not functioning properly? That your heart is beating, you know, uh, for the wrong desires concerning mistreating and misusing and abuse. Because, you know, it trips me out. And when I watch people in darkness, they w willing to fool around with this person. But when somebody fool around with somebody else and, you know, they supposed to be with them, they get mad and angry and frustrated at the person. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, you fool around with this person. You fool, and y'all get fighting mad, you know, kind of like that Jerry Springer crazy Maury stuff. I mean, that is ridiculous. I mean, look, y'all are operating in lust. Y'all operating in sin. Y'all... Wait, what you expect somebody, a sinner, to do? Uh, be faithful to you? How can sin be faithful? You know, how it, it can be fearful. You know, the fearful that, you know, people have that, you know, gets them to desire other, you know, men or women or something. That fear is, <laughs> is the lack of, they think they're missing out of something. If, they, if I be in a relationship, with a woman, and if I see this girl, she, woman, she's fine and sexy, and she want to get with me, it's that fear inside of me that, ooh, what if I can get with her? What am I missing out if I don't pull, have sex with her? What am I missing out? You know what I'm saying? What am I missing out if I don't, you know, you know, try to pursue her? What what could be the possible chance this girl can be give me the greatest uh, sex of my life or something like that. You know what I'm saying? What's the possible chances of that? That dangle into a mind of darkness. You know what I'm saying? That, uh, same thing, ladies. You see the guy, see the guy, say, mm, I'm with him, but what am I missing out, you know, that I'm not getting here that I can get over there, you know? What, or we call it the, gra is the grass is greener on the other side. Well, I like the post that said the grass is only greener on where you w water it. Or do you, ha but do you have water? Do you have a water or more likely a substance that is, look, that is uh, utilized to purify? Do you have something that can purify, that can bring life to put inside someone? Do you have living water that can give people life and life more abundantly? That they can live life and fulfill a purpose that is better, more fulfilling, and they can truly have uh, love and joy and peace inside them. Well, that is the values of being purified. You know, that's the value. Uh, that's the value that you have a sense of direction, a sense of guidance, and a sense of understanding who you are concerning your well-being. That purified value can support, should be valuable than pollution, but in a dark world, and if you're believing, remember I told you believing is the most powerful thing in the universe. If you're believing that this pollution is fulfilling you, you're just going to become a fool. But the wise will understand and realize that only being purified is the better treasure than anything else to fulfill a purpose that you will be loved truly and desired by one that will love you. Because God created us to become one with each other. Man, woman, one. And one and purifying is the true completion of humanity. Alright, that's the message. God be glory here. Reverend Reverend Jesus' name, amen.